Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show how do we customize email notification and subject, email modi and then subject. Let's look into it and see how this can be done. So let me take you to the process cloud screen. And before that, I'm going to point out one important document where you can find out everything here. How do we customize? So here we have a document. You can see configure email notification and configure email notification under Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Process Automation, where you can find out how do we customize. So just to customize, for example, we are sending this payload to our process. And I want this first name and last name in, in the email body. So we can simply use that like in the curly braces, the variable name and this guy. So basically you can see we have few of the variables which are by default there, like acquired by, acquired by ID, assigned date, created date. So you can use those variables as is in the, in the curly braces and it will give you the data like you wanted to get the creator of the task who has created the task, creator ID of the task. When the task was due, you know, long summary from the user, from user ID. So if you need all those information in your email, you can directly use those uh, uh, out of the box variables inside curly braces. Okay. And then these are the And these are the, uh, you know, process related attributes like instance ID, process ID, process name, process version. These are the tables provided description of the application related to the task object like assignee name, current year, the logo of Oracle, URL, URL of accessing the task details in runtime. And then comments, you can use comments as an array and then comment string, who has updated the comment and updated date. And then other things like action display, action name, actions and URL and some of the examples. For example, you wanted to show the list of actions, comments in your uh, body. So you can use start with hash comments and end with comments because this is the array. And then comment string is the variable which will give you the comment string that you have provided and then updated by and updated date. In case you want to perform some null check, so you can say, hey, due date, due date, due date. In case you wanted to use payload, for example, this is the data that is coming like payload, then form, then under form, you may have this guy called contract category. So you can use this and variable. And in case under that financial approval, you have the contract data object as an object type. Then again, you can use this contract data object, start with hash and end with slash. Customer name, contract start date and credit limit. So this is how you can customize. So you can see, you can view the structure of payload in the data pane on the web form like you can see here. Financial approval form, financial approval form. Then under that you have a contract category, you have a contract category. Under that you have another variable called contract data object and that is the object. And then under that you have other variables that we have used here. So you can look at this document to view how we get, you know, all those things inside your email. So now I will take you to the process and we'll show you how we can do this. Okay. So come here and what I'm going to do. So this is my process. So basically what I can do, I can go here and then notification. So here, if you don't know how do we generate the email template, you can simply download that template. So downloading this template will download the file in HTML. You can see copy and paste here, copy, and then you can do the paste, you see paste is also there. And then you can say edit. When you say edit, you will see, okay, it is not visible here properly. So you have to refresh. Go on notification, click here and then add it. So this is complete HTML code. So in case you wanted to have your own HTML code, you can simply replace with the HTML code. So I have written one HTML code I will show you. So before I do this, let me show you how my email template looks like that I have designed. Just give me one minute.
Okay. So let me show you how the templates looks like. So here, this is the template that I have created where I will have assigning the, you know, the, the leave request from the first name will come is waiting for your action. Please navigate to the action list to review the request and take action. And then we have given one button also, and then the header leave request details, and then you can put request ID, requester name would be like first name and last name combination, email address, leave type, from date, to date, reason, and in case you want to provide comment, you can provide comment also. So let me show you that HTML file that we have created here. So if I scroll up, you see, this is completely HTML body. If you know HTML, you can generate it very easily. Hello, assignee. Assignee is the standard variable that I just show you in the document, okay, which will show you the assignee name. And then here you see, I am using the first name from my payload. How I getting this? You see, hash payload, hash payload, payload will be the standard one that will come. And then leave waveform argument, which is start with hash and end with this hash and with slash and then the variable. So how can I get this exact one? So go back to your process, go to open data association. And then from the input, you see leave web form arguments and then you see first name. So it will be like leave web form arguments and then first name. So you can get this complete structure from the data association to build your body. Okay. Now go back to this template. Okay. So because I need the first name, so I'm showing, I'm doing this payload and then leave web form argument. And then here you see, we have this button called take action. Background color is this. So again, it's the anchor tab. And then I'm using one variable here called URL, which will actually take you to the, to the workspace, to a particular task. And same thing I'm using here also. Please navigate to action list, fine. And then here is my, again, another thing, leave request details. That is my heading, okay. And then we have a complete table here where I'm generating this, you see, again, payload, leave waveform argument because I need to show I need to show what uh, uh, the data. So I can remove that. I don't need it for now. Request ID. So you can see one TR requester name, and then I'm using first name, last name, email address, email. Again, you have to take from the data association, correct type, otherwise it will not be populated. Leave type, leave type, from date, from date, to date, to date, reason, reason. And then in case you need task comment, you can put task comment here also. Let me remove it for now. And then here you can see the end of the payload. So meaning you have to use payload and then the form argument variable and use all those guys here. Fine. Let's save and let me show you again here. So now this is how it looks like. Fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this complete code, come here, and this is my default template. You cannot rename, add it. Let me check if I can rename this. Yeah, that's it, custom email template. And then paste, remove and paste it here. And then preview. Okay, and then finish. All right, now let me open and check if it is correct or not. Again, because sometimes it is getting corrupted. Yeah. So sometimes what is happening in OPA3, you see earlier I gave, I gave this complete table inside that. So you copy this and this table came out from this tag automatically. There may be some issues. So you can copy this table from here and then copy this control X and then put it here again. Okay. Make sure this table is between those two tags. Preview. Okay, it is not visible here. That's fine. And finish. Then, which means it is okay. Now, let me try one. Okay, let's activate and see. <clears throat> 
Okay, so so this is the body. Now, in case you want to customize the customize the subject. So on a sign, for example, I want to customize that. You can say, hey, action required manager approval, manager attention. Attention and then leave request receive. From then again, curly braces start. You have to use the same expression payload dot payload dot this guy leave waveform arguments dot. Then let's suppose let me use last name here. Okay, that is your subject. Okay, cool. Now let's find, let me see again if it is working or not. Okay, let me check here. Yeah, that's okay. Now. And let's activate it. And testing workspace. This is my application. You know, raw. Okay. So all the data should come here. Test, leave. Submit. Now let me show you the email. Okay, so you see the email has been received because I didn't change. Okay, my bad. So what I did here, I choose the default template. What I need to do, I need to use that template. You have to choose that template here. That's the problem. Okay, so now let's let's see. Okay, fine. Activate now. I forget to choose the template. Otherwise, I should have that correct one. But you can see here, the subject has been changed. Action required, manager attention, leave request received from Rob. <clears throat> Test. So, fine. Let me show you now. Cool. So, you see, I have received that customized email action required manager attention. Leave request received from Teja. Hello, AJ. Leave request from Ravi is waiting for your action. Please navigate to the action list to review the request and take action. Take action is the button and this is your heading and this is your complete data. So when you click on this action list, it will take you to the workspace to the particular action. So you can see it will take you to that particular task number. So this is how you guys can create the custom template and create the and customize the subject. That's all, guys. I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.